business tycoon Manuel Pangilinan will divest and sell his shares in the Inquirer Group if the offer price is right. This was after San Miguel Corporation Chief Ramon Ang on Monday said he is in discussions with the Rufino Prieto family for a majority stake in the Philippine Daily Inquirer. Pangilinan's group has interests in Broadsheet's Business World Publishing Corporation and Philstar Daily Incorporated and in broadcast units TV5 Corporation and Bloomberg TV Philippines. Pangilinan, through Excel Pacific Holdings Corporation, owns a 13.08% stake in Philippine Daily Inquirer Incorporated and 25% stake in Inquirer Holdings Incorporated. The Rufino Prieto family owns a 68% stake in Pentap Equities Holdings Corporation, which in turn owns 68.8% of Inquirer Holdings. Both Ang and Inquirer did not disclose if the San Miguel Corporation chief plans to buy into Philippine Daily Inquirer or the parent firm Inquirer Holdings. Even before Inquirer, Ang and Pangilinan had long expressed interest in acquiring a stake in GMA Network Incorporated, but both businessmen failed to make a deal with the shareholders of the broadcast media. Several members of the Presidential Security Group are wounded in a firefight with suspected members of the New People's Army in North Cotabato Wednesday. A PSG convoy was headed to Cagayan de Oro from Camp Panacan in Davao City when the presidential security aides noticed more than 50 armed men manning a checkpoint in Arakan Town at around 6 a.m. The PSG exchanged shots with the armed men after realizing it was not a legitimate military checkpoint. At least four PSG members sustained slight injuries as a result of the encounter. The PSG says the convoy's travel to Cagayan de Oro is normal administrative movement for coordination. PSG Chief Lope Dagoy says the encounter will not affect President Rodrigo Duterte's future activities. The White House says United States President Donald Trump and Russian President Vladimir Putin had an additional, previously undisclosed chat at the G20 summit earlier this month. A White House official says Trump and Putin chatted over dinner on the last night of the summit. The two leaders briefly greeted each other at the start of the summit, then had a two-hour bilateral meeting on July 7. The disclosure raises questions about what the pair talked about, who was present, and why the meeting was not previously mentioned. The Trump administration is besieged by allegations that the president's closest advisors colluded with Russia to win the 2016 election. Trump's eldest son, Donald Trump Jr., recently released emails showing he held a meeting during the campaign with Kremlin-connected operatives, hoping to get dirt on his father's election rival, Hillary Clinton. But a second White House official says, quote, The insinuation that the White House has tried to hide a second meeting is false, malicious, and absurd. Mm-hmm. 